that Kai Sanat has humbled, huh? I saw a little preview. Yeah, I saw a little preview of the uh, the button. Uh, I remember that. Uh, I remember that live stream. A famous OnlyFans model got her career terminated for trying to extort him, and an old head rapper got humbled by. Con yeah, wait, wait, didn't he? Didn't he also like buy out her uh, like a domain? <laughs> for trying to talk down to streamers. This is what happens when Kai Sinat humbles entitled celebrities. Kai is a household name in almost every platform. Bro, bolstering bro how can you hate him? How can you hate him, bro? It's Kai. He's like one of the most entertaining people in the world. There will never be another Kai Sanat, dude. Never. Over 9 million subscribers on his YouTube channel, over 13 million on Twitch, and managing Deserved. to collab with huge stars like Ice Spice, Nicki Minaj, and Kevin Hart. He quickly Drake? rose to fame thanks to his explosive and loud personality, which he's been using both for his content and to humble cocky celebrities who try to do too much for clout. Like the time he had to put one of the oh, biggest God. streamers ever in his place. This goes back to May 2024 when Kai was doing Not his Ninja. Elden Ring streams. Ninja commented on the matter, complimenting him on the success he's gathered and saying that he could have done the same if he had never gone to Mixer. Listen, uh, for one, that's just not correct. Two, Ninja, stay in your own lane, bro. Stay, stay in that Fortnite era, okay? Ninja, quit speaking on things you don't know and could never do. Holy. Kai's pulling 30k right now because he's sleeping, dog. Every time he wakes up and he actually starts playing Elden Ring, he's pulling anywhere from 90 to 100k. A little more, a little less. He just puts in the work, bro. He does those. My backhanded compliments are crazy. He does what I could have done if I just stayed home and streamed <laughs> and didn't go to Mixer or anything like that. Although this seemed like some heartfelt recognition on Kai's massive numbers, but viewers were quick to note that there was something more behind what he said. This was even more noticeable a few months later, when yep, Kai yep, broke his is, personal uh... concurrent viewership record with his stream alongside Drewski and Kevin Hart, peaking oh. at over 712,000 and breaking Ninja's own record when he played Fortnite duos with Drake by almost 70,000 viewers. After Damn. viewers were bombarding his chat with the news about the record, Ninja reacted to it by saying that sure Kai got more viewers than on his Drake stream, but that I thought it was the Minecraft one. Or was that after? No, that was after. Okay, never mind, never mind. He wasn't breaking any records, since the most viewed stream record is held yeah. by a Spanish streamer named Dubai with 3.44 million viewers when he streamed his own fighting event. And this is how you just know that people are just clueless. Alright, guys, right? Ready? So I mean we, we, I've been live for Eight minutes, I've had hundreds of people tell me my record's been broken, right guys? Uh, as of October 2023, first off, again, congratulations to Kai for beating my record. My record was like, what, 640, something like that? As of October 20, 2023, Twitch streamer Ibai Llanos, or Llanos, also known as Ibai, holds the record for most concurrent viewers on a Twitch stream. Backhanded compliments. Four million. He reached this record in September 2023 while live streaming his La Velada del Año 3 event, breaking his own record. So, almost there, guys. Then, after that, Kai finally gave a response to the backhanded compliments, saying that yeah. he was tired of Ninja always giving the same responses to his success. Bro, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing with Ninja, bro. And this is, this is, this is the most respectful way possible, okay? Bro, Kai, dude, he didn't even have to be respectful about this. Like, dude, he, he's, like, actively... Backhand complimenting him, dude. Yeah, I voted for Kanye. I don't blame Ninja for being mad at like people coming in yeah. his chat and saying that and spamming that and sh that. There's not some you shit he I'm doesn't saying? have to say. That could be pretty annoying. But it's just like certain sh he don't gotta say. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you guys go back to the clips of every time where I broke a record or every time where I passed quote unquote Ninja. He's always oh, I could do that. complimented me, bro. I don't think I, I if you Congratulations, but I could have done that to no big deal. That could have been me if I just stayed inside and streamed. Bro, two different genres. Uh yeah, Oklahoma's not a swing straight swing straight state. Oh no. You guys notice and see the the pattern? He's always like said like congrats to him, but this happened. Like, bro. 
you 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 probably don't even have to address it when they spam some crazy in my chat my mods no sub only just leave it alone just keep it moving which i could find annoying so i don't blame him with that he starts like saying like even with the even with the subathon oh uh, uh i did all that just by playing a game which you did and that's congratulations like hey two different genres like, Shout out to Ninja, and I never take it out. And, it, and it's crazy yeah. to me because, bro, I looked up, like I looked up to Ninja, bro. The beef lay dormant for a few weeks until Ninja once again commented again. on one of Kai's streams, which was his hardcore Minecraft playthrough with I Show Speed. During one of his own streams, he went on to talk trash about the duo by <laughs> saying that it only took them that long for entertainment purposes and to pull more viewers. Bro, I was I was seeing some of the Minecraft stuff like. Jake is, is talking about all these uh, Fortnite guys who are beating Minecraft all the way through on the hardest level in like three hours. Guys beat around like day four. <laughs> yeah, bro, those guys, I mean, they're doing it for pure entertainment, bro. They're, they're, they're also, it's like uh, very much like Tim the Tap Man and his Fall Guys thing where, he, you know, he was getting like hundreds of thousands of viewers because he couldn't get his first Fall Guys win. It's one of those that things where it's wild. like, dude, you're, you know, Kai's pulling anywhere from 250,000 to plus viewers playing this. It's like, dude, they don't want to, they don't want to win. Instead of being hurt. Bro, like, how, how are you going to make just baseless claims like that, dude? Like, even, even if that's the case, you don't have to say anything about it, bro. You just say congratulations and move on, man. I'm just biased, okay, but like. He doesn't have to say anything. Hurt by the comments, Kai made a show about the whole thing, holding a mock yeah, press this conference was so good. to give his response to Ninja. Are you dying on purpose to keep the flame going? What's up? You dying on purpose? What you dying on purpose? Hey, get with the big camera. Put the big camera right here. <laughs> hey, ninja. You ninja. <laughs> you, you talking about if I'm dying on purpose? You think I want to be playing Minecraft for five days? You gonna get on your <laughs> too, ninja. Every thing I do, you riding. Yeah, yeah glazing, bro. You say ninja. Ninja! Ninja! Ninja isn't the only big streamer Kai has humbled in the past. He also had to go off against Aiden Ross for trying Wait, I didn't to remember this, so. Twitch. Back in 2023, Aiden and a bunch of other streamers made the jump from Twitch to Kick. Okay, all right. But, like, think about it, okay? XQC only left for 100 million, okay? Like, it took a lot to get him off of Twitch. Taking advantage of the hundred new million dollar contract policies on freedom of speech. After Kai refused to make the switch, Aiden began to harass and troll him on Twitter, trying to get him banned. So Kai had to let him know not to be messing with him like that, since they were friends and what Aiden was doing was being fake. This is just us talking. This is us talking, okay? It's not me. Chat, I would never lie on somebody's name, bro. I would never do that, bro. Saying my son, my like I'm somebody's slave or something, bro. Like trying to little bro me on the internet right now in front of seventy thousand. Bro. Like, bro, y'all is my friends, bro. Like, what is y'all doing? Y'all coking right now. But not coking. all of Kai's humblings have been with a whole backstory behind them. Since Wait, they're not even gonna go over what he says? He said more than that, right? I I slightly remember it. But if you watch streamers like XQC, uh, he's good at games. He can be funny. It's funny to sit there and watch his chat troll him. Just the same thing with, like, with Queso. People, people in his stream, he, he's just a genuinely funny guy, and then he enhances the chat experience by allowing them to, like, go in. I don't know about that. I don't know why. Like, he doesn't need it. I mean, people gotta show their appreciation. Like, he, he wants to do it for, like, a livelihood, so... I, I don't think there's any problem with giving people with money more money. Like, I don't... I, I, I've donated to him, like, probably uh, a handful of times. Throwing $5 in a pit. I mean, you do the same thing when you buy a pack of gum, though. Like, it, it's it's pretty much the same thing. It, it's not like uh, he doesn't even say anything about your donut. I mean, it doesn't matter. You're just showing appreciation for being entertained, right? At the end of the day. It'd be the same thing as if I went out and spent $5 on, an, on like, a drink. It's gone within, like, two minutes. You get your name on the screen? It's it's not, like, if, if I could do it anonymously, right, to where it doesn't even show up on the screen, I'd probably still do it, bro. It, it's just it's just showing appreciation. Like, sometimes, you know, you're going through rough patches, you're playing, you're, you're just wanting to see, like, you know... Have, have like some kind of interaction i guess i don't know 
like uh before before i started streaming like all i watched was xqc because he would be playing games that i never would have thought to play and there's no reason for me not to like i guess do it i don't know it's the same thing that i feel like with uh with kai i'm pretty sure i'm i'm like uh subscribed to him every month kai's like a billionaire too but i have uh on his twitch i'm subscribed to his twitch I think the same thing with Queso. I don't care if they read it or if they see it. I just generally don't care. I, I appreciate what they do, and it's entertaining for me. I'm getting something out of it. I'm doing the same thing for Netflix. Why can't I do it for streamers? I want to sit there and, and and watch and enjoy my time. I enjoy it. He you know also I mean? got the chance to humble Matan Evan, also known as the Bill Clinton kid. For trying More of to a show. Appear I mean, same thing though. Like you're you're watching someone else play a video game that you're not gonna buy yourself, and what does he get out of it, right? YouTube is selling you. What do you mean? On his streams for clout, Baton is known for crashing on public events to try and get attention from the media and become viral. The no, first no, this guy, this guy got humbled, bro. Dude, he he was. I hate this kid. Here, go to your channel to find my live so weird dude I, I don't know what's happening because like uh it's getting more views than it usually does got into one of kai's streams was when he was hanging out in universal studios with xqc and he called out matan for following them yo I th i've seen him before hey, dude. what the hell what's going on you're the most random person you're not with us you're not with us but i've, I've definitely seen you before how are you doing today i'm doing good yo. But he took it a step further when the two were doing a meet and greet. Yeah, bro, this guy is so weird. When a random guy asked Kai for a picture. But when he took his mask off, Kai had to get him out of there since he knew what Matan was trying to do. Can I get a quick photo? Yeah, quick, quick, quick. Whoa, whoa, bro, stop doing that. Bro. Cutty. I just, stop doing that, bro. You trying to be low. Stop doing that. Get this guy out of here, bro. Now, when it comes to Sneeko, he's been getting clicked <laughs> over and over since the past year as a result of his beef with Moist Critical. Countless creators and streamers <laughs> reacted to the Sneeko downfall saga, including Kai. As a result, Sneeko dissed Kai along those other creators, calling them out for not having his back. Yeah. You literally deleted it. Ah! This, is, th this was crazy, bro. This is crazy, man. Bro. Yo can't react no more bro first of all i haven't even but i didn't even know he dropped the re uh, 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 did anybody else know that he dropped like a a, a comeback video or some sh a response video you i don't even know i don't even know i thought i was up to date with all the sneako stuff dude it's so garbage oh my god do people think that there's like all these conspiracies about themselves like it's crazy and and who's using sneako for clout bro Sneeko? <laughs> bro, I don't be on Rumble, man. Bro, I don't even be on Rumble, bro. I don't even be on Rumble, bro. The two just drifted apart after that, and it wasn't until Kai was with Speed roaming around a hotel that he seemingly ignored <laughs> Sneeko as they walked right past him. A few months later, Sneeko talked about it on a podcast. Bro, I'm so upset. They just walked right past me, didn't even acknowledge me, didn't even say hi to me. Like, we're besties. Saying that he didn't care about that since they didn't see him as a member of their community. He's you don't not. get to become the world's biggest streamer without people trying to take advantage True. of your position to get some quick money and attention at your extent. This is exactly what happened between OnlyFans model Layla Red, also known as Kira Rudd. She hit him with the revenge corn, dude. Crazy. Now, Kiara and Kai were sort of a couple, with the two of them linking up almost half a year before the whole incident took place. Then, all of a sudden, Kiara came out to try and expose Kai for paying money to sleep with her, while showing a bunch of evidence to back her claims. She kept evidence. going on by saying yeah. that unless he paid up, she would keep on Bro, this was by far the most entertaining stream that I saw, and, and then this is like what actually made me watch pretty much every time he goes live. I've been missing a lot of Mafia, uh, Mafia Thon or whatever, because I've been streaming, but like, if I can put this shit up on my TV, man, hey, hey. 
releasing stuff about him. During these extortions, she went ahead and leaked some pics she had taken of Kai sleeping and half naked. Man, you know what's some shitty cat when all this can say is let's not talk about it. Uh, it's a finesse. Man, ain't no finesse. You played your myself. You were supposed to pay me my other half to keep quiet. You did it. Keep I quiet hit you about up. what? You want to respond? You thought I was gonna take the little chump oh chain that you gave me not to say nothing off. No. I need all my funds. What could you talking about? Or I'm gonna just go put this all over the world and I'm gonna get my funds from everybody else. You won't get too far. And then when it's all said and done, you gonna wish you would've just paid me my money. My money. Come on now, y'all. Of course he was gonna come back with a story saying he gonna sue me. How else was he gonna look good to the blog? I mean, you like a certified trick right now. Duh. However, Duh. what she didn't expect is that Kai was ready for all of this and dedicated a whole segment on his stream yeah, to exposing so good, her lies yeah. and calling her out for trying to use all the situation for clout. The first thing he talked about was how she leaked payment receipts for $5,000 each, supposedly for purchasing her content, but Kai cooked her by showing his actual payment history and that the only time he paid her was to get her an Uber. First things first. You guys may have seen this text. Oh, Kai yeah. sent $5,000 on October 4th at 12, 29 p.m. on a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys seen that, right? Okay. Oh, wait, there's another one. Yeah, one more, wait, one more. Kai, hold on. You also sent 5000 on November 10th of at, at 12.34. Yeah. Okay, Yeah, one more, one more. Me. Watch this, chat. Okay, cool, right? You want to go ahead and lie and say, I sent you this money. Now, I could have easily ran in my text messages and just easily just showed it. It, it just wasn't there. But I know. Yeah, That's yeah. What do you know? What do you know? Annoying on the internet. Wait, Kai, you could just delete it, gang. <laughs> Kai, that doesn't prove anything, Kai. You could just Not transaction history. Guy. I'm 10 steps ahead. Let me cook. Further on. He I'm always two steps ahead mentions the reason why he isn't worried yeah. about nothing she said and it's because he made her sign an nda so yeah, i actually hate the way he does this bro he just chews it off bro i hate that so. thing she said and the pics she posted were more than enough to get her into some real legal trouble for breach of contract wait hold on kiara what did you post to me kiara not only did you sign an nda but you also while i was sleeping but i naked decided to just post me online okay yeah, now yeah, what do you yeah. call that ladies and gentlemen revenge now those who don't know what revenge okay she didn't she didn't she didn't she, she blocked this out of shit okay for those who don't know what revenge revealing or sexually explicit image or video of a person posted on the internet typically by former sexual partner without the consent of the object and in order to cause okay oh wait there's more one more, one As more. A final nail on her coffin, he purchased the domains for KiaraRush.com <laughs> and LaylaRedCakes.com to show everyone what she lied on and the crime she committed during the expose, making sure everyone who tried no to search for her website. name would see it. The last thing he said about it is that they were definitely going to court over it, but that he couldn't share any details on the matter. Uh. All right, it's some dumb cop chasing weird shit going on right now, bro. But it's all right, though. It's all right, though, chat. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, but I'll see you in court. Got you. <laughs> Another girl who Kai had to humble was Glorilla because she tried to go against uh, Kai for not liking her new music. The two of them had a seemingly good friendship at first since the two went on several lives together and seemed to hit it off. Tattoos. You like my tattoos? I like, I like the, let me see that arm right there. Bro, people can't be authentic anymore. People can't be authentic anymore. Talking about uh, blocking him because he, he didn't like my music. If it's trash, it's trash. Like, take learn how to take constructive criticism. People can't be authentic anymore, dude. Let me see that right. Let me see that arm right there. Oh yeah, I like that one. That's that's. You know I'm sad about myself, right? You what? I'm sad about myself. Let me see. Hey, take this one out. Take this one out. Let me see. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right, 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 all right. Did she say flexing your abs?
However, the friendship would take a left turn when Kai reacted negatively to one of Glorilla's newer songs at the it moment, was garbage. Cha Cha Cha. No, 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 no. Come on, glow, glow, glow. It was garbage. Okay, oh! let's be for real. It was trash. I love glow, bro. I love glow, but. No. It was trash. Glow got mad at Kai for this and immediately blocked him on her socials as soon as Kai noticed he reacted on stream. Wait! Blocked. A lot. Okay, what's her at? Bro, Glow, please. <gasps> I was wondering why I don't see Glow. Blocked. Blocked. Glowilla Pimp. Oh my gosh, bro. Glowilla Pimp. Glow. Glow, there's no way you It's gotta hurt, huh? After it's that, gotta hurt, huh? She realized that blocking Kai might not have been the best idea since, yeah, according not to smart. Insider DJ Academics, labels currently consider what Kai likes and dislikes in order to see which artist to support. And then she tried to unblock him. And then he retaliates. Like, it's actually crazy how much influence he has over, like, what, what music is, is uh, popping and just influence over the masses and in, in in like in general it blows my mind how, mu how much influence a, an actual streamer can can pull okay all right and and i'll be honest with you um me and kai we actually talked about this and i've, I've been telling kai i said yo you know because you know I, I get stuff from publicists like some of the stuff i post is i get from publicists labels will, will send stuff in for consideration um, school like some that stuff that like yo hey please could you put it the majority of what labels send me these days is Kai. <laughs> like, their artist drops a song, they only want me to post what Kai said about or how Kai <laughs> turned up to the song. So she posted a tweet hinting that she would unblock him. Kai then responded to Glorilla during his jail stream, pretty much saying that she had already dug yeah, her Yeah, she's brain. done. Big GL. Hold on, Glorilla. Oh, oh she even. You laid your bed, you better stay there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You you're done you 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 Just like with Glow, Offset also went up against Kai for disliking his music. This one is a bit more heartbreaking since the two of them struck a very good friendship after the rapper grew fond of Kai after appearing in one of his streams. But it only- Oh, if your music's trash, it's trash, okay? Like, who cares if one person isn't messing with your music? Maybe it wasn't made for him. Maybe, you know, someone else liked it more than Kai liked it. What does it matter? What does it matter? Uh, that's going to hurt your friendship because uh, he has a he has a negative opinion over one of your albums. I mean, were you guys really friends to begin with or were you just using him? Who knows? It lasted until Kai reviewed one of Offset's albums, set it off, and said that he wasn't feeling it with none of the songs like that. From there, I don't know how you have to play that right. like that one. This is gonna start hop out the turn me up, bro. Come on, set. I don't know how I feel about that one either. I'm gonna keep it a sack. Um next is called I'm Listen, before this whole Kai and Glorilla situation, I have never, never, not once, never heard of no Glorilla. I'ma be straight up. I never heard of no Glorilla. Before the before Kai. <laughs> Glorilla never popped up on my feed uh, on my music. Never heard of no Glorilla. Oh, I don't know, bro. Um, I don't know. See, like everyone saying the same thing though. It's like three, maybe maybe you get a couple of fives, you get the one troll that's saying seven and a half. I feel like I feel like I feel like it, feel like it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. But it wasn't like I've never heard of her before great. this. From there, the two drifted apart with offset being scheduled to appear on Kai's gel. Now, did he I thought he turned this down because uh of his like close is like one of his best friends was in prison 
or that he's been in prison and he doesn't like to play pretend like that because it like PTSD or something stream but i think it's cap out at the last minute fans quickly jumped into the conclusion that it was because kai had said about his albums but offset later said that it was actually because the whole being in jail for entertainment didn't seem right to him since he had friends who were currently doing time was you offended when he said he like, didn't like the album um not really because he because at the end of the day like he giving his honest opinion you right and like that's what you first, should do. i think it was like eight songs or something Bro, like that but that's what that's what you should love right to an authentic feeling to to your creation right if it's garbage it's garbage right and, and and you being the one who made it can never see something as garbage right so you need the outsider's opinion of what's good what's bad what's mid you know like and, and taking that constructive criticism to form it around the next album is is one of the best things that that makes music only get better not worse. If you just have a bunch of yes men around you saying, oh, yeah, this, this, this shit's so good, it's so good, and then you release it and all you get is hate for it, I mean, those are L yes men's, bro. It's so dumb. At the end of the day, like, that's my homie. I ain't, I didn't do the jail thing. I'm going to tell y'all. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people thought it was because of the, how he judged the album. I didn't do the jail thing because I really had to think about it. Like, I really come from that. And it's like really bros and homies. I think this with is that. Cap. It's not really a game. I think you know he was I mean? just like, mad. It's 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 a serious. Because they haven't thing. done anything like, since, I right? Understand content. I just I salute it, yeah. but I, I just couldn't be a part of that content. Because if y'all remember, I come from jail, and I yeah. remember sitting in the like down bad, like no money on the books. So then quit thinking about the negatives and see the positives. You're doing it for for content. You're hanging around a bunch of group of people that you you know enjoy their company with. Like, bro, look past all this. Look past it, bro. I don't know. That's why I think it's cap. And like trying to, I know how I feel. It ain't no, it ain't the right feeling. I got real homies that I can't get right. out ever. You know what I mean? So I ain't want to make a mockery. Do you think they would they, care? My world and his world are different. Dude, it's not a mockery. Do you really think they would care? No. I think this cap. Cap. You feel what I'm saying? However, it does seem to be a bad blood between the two because Offset yep. ignored Kai during his participation on 21 Savage's celebrity football game. Now, Kai is only one of the few people Bruce Dropimoff has had beef with to do with his huge ego and constant desire to running his mouth way more than he should, which has gotten him banned from Twitch yep, on yep. several occasions. However, his deepest beef with Kai started when the two began to drift apart from the DYK group, which consisted of Bruce, Your Rage, and Kai. Despite the disbandment being purely because of schedule issues from the three of them, Bruce had certain ideas that Kai always used him for content alone. Only wanting to call people when it's for content. All four of them uh, called my phone when I wasn't you know streaming. What? But no, Yo, bro. Not all, bro. No more being around the bush. Phone when I, was, I wasn't bad. streaming. I gave you the link to my no site early that. and showed Please you love. don't expect none of that. Just and you called my phone for Content to do we do just without that i That's the reason why though. i was so pushed for it i can say this shit because i'm straight at the end of the day what this for chat money i don't give a f on this thing i'm laying that's y'all internet perception of me y'all don't know me in real life bro i can talk real because i ain't got to hide these niggas ripped and, and hide and things okay, really escalated bro. when several messages that bruce had been exchanging with his discord mods where he talked about kai your rage and other creators got leaked and some of the messages bro, he talked about how just don't talk about people behind their back like if you have something to say just be straight up about it like what a joke what a joke man anything you do behind like closed doors if you're doing it behind someone's back it's gonna come forward man if you have something to say, just say it to him, and maybe you guys could see, like, you know, see past the differences, and, and you know, e either that, or, you know, form a stronger bond, because you're able to be honest. Who knows? Just be honest, man. Like, what's the point? What's the point? Uh, you, you think that people are, are on your side? What a joke. Kai and Speed stole his idea of going to Japan, and he blamed Rage because Bros copywriting an entire travel vacation plan. Okay. Because of it, Kai reacted to the situation by straight up saying that he didn't want anything to do with Bruce since he didn't want to be associated with anyone who would backstab. We're not allowed. Like that. My mother. We're not allowed to go on vacation anymore. Someone else has already done it. It's their idea. We can't steal it from them. Uh, sorry guys, sorry, I guess the trip to Japan's over, I can't do it, I don't want to be a thief.
I want you to tell me what have I done to you for you to talk to me in that type of way and to gossip to your mods, bro. You should be going to therapy. My therapy. If that's how you feeling, I really, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really think that nigga really going through some shit, bro. I swear to God, you need to go to therapy. If that's how you feeling, bro, you need to go on that track hop, hit a hundred on the gas, straight to therapy. Tell the nigga or what the going to, bro. That's what you need to do, gang. You need to do that, bro. Because what I don't respect that at all, bro. You telling me yeah, no one respects it too. Well, damn near after the apology, bro. That's not cool. I'm gonna treat this <coughs> as if it's a, anybody would do this to me. Now, in the case of Pretty Boy Fredo, not only did he get humbled by Kai, but also by half the members of the AMP house. This whole beef started oh, when he the released a couple of videos exposing Fredo for faking some of his prank videos. And then he called oh him out for God. faking his apology after he did a whole meet and greet at the height of the pandemic. Now, if you're a fan of the Pretty Boy Fredo, uh, you might have seen this video titled, My One Million Sneaker Collection Full Closet Tour. Do you need me to say it? And I would like to personally welcome you guys to my closet. Wasn't this a department store or a shoe store? Guys, that's a store. He went to a store, claimed it was his closet, and showed off a whole bunch of things at a store. Anybody that would pretend as if they caught the Rona to get views. A week and a half later, delete the video because he wanted to have a meetup in New York City where he was gonna take the fuck over. He took over New York City. That's not a good person we're speaking about. Any person that would fake a predator video. What? It seemed like the, the he, like he made himself out to be the, wow, look what we did for the world. We caught this guy. How do you fake a predator video? Uh, you know what that reminds me of? Uh, uh, the people that actually, I do know how you fake it. Uh, the people that like sat here and dumped a bunch of baby oil all over the, the predator and, and is like some homeless dude that they paid off. Bro. And like uh, rubbed baby oil all over him and dumped flour on him. Yeah, okay. Hi, this actor. <laughs> this is supposed to be a good person? You want me to believe that? This began a whole crusade led by Fredo to try and cancel Agent, since a random hater started to send death threats to Fredo's daughter. And Fredo made it seem like it was Agent who sent the guy without any Nausea, proof man. and without doing any research. And I'm gonna tell you guys the worst part about it all. This kid had his fans spamming me on Twitter death threats Crocodile. to my daughter. To my child. A innocent being. How disgusting in a pig you are. You do not deserve a channel. You are canceled. And as a father, it's you on site, bro. You are a scum, are you are a pig, and you are a clown. And you will be canceled. Luckily, Agent did manage to clear his name and the beef lay dormant. And it was during that time that Agent co-founded the AMP group. On 2022's Ooh. AMP Freshman Cypher, both Kai and Phantom dropped a whole diss on Fredo, which sparked things back up. Pretty boy, you shot! Get the gun that we spoke about Fredo! About Agent, we go- Bro, guys, do you remember- I remember reacting to this, uh, the, to the Cypher. I didn't know what they were talking about. It was- Wait, wait. I might need to go back and reevaluate the Cypher. I think I gave them bad scores. Fredo, which sparked things back up. Pretty boy, you shot. Get the gun that we spoke about Fredo. About agent, we gon' get that boy a hey, oh, oh my god. Boy, you fine. Fake cut that nigga. Suck my dick. Ain't gonna lie. Fredo, you block me. You a b. Fredo's response was a set of diss tracks aimed at Kai and the AMP crew. However, people were quick to notice that Fredo directly stole bars from the songs he listened as inspiration. Man, that's that? Tell the truth, man. Okay. Oh. Straight stolen bars. That was whack. Well, who did he steal from? Who did he steal from? Um, it was a New York Joe rapper. Tell the truth, though. Tell the oh, truth. Oh, he stole it from a New York rapper? <laughs> Wait. This one stole too. Shut the fuck up, chat. What the? F I need to. Yeah, bro. Shut up, baby. Yeah, I'm trolling, man. How has everything been stolen so far? I think what he did years ago spoke pretty heavily on his character. And as I made clear in my videos back then, I believed he was a bad person. Chad, right. I hate when people do bad things and and claim they're good people. At the end of everything, yeah, Fredo yeah. did get humbled by Preach all it, and publicly apologized to Agent for all the hate he threw at him on the past years. He said, 
Just want to say to you, I'm proud of how far you've come. Uh huh. Through all the hate I pushed on you years ago, you pushed through it and made yourself better. I can respect that as a man. And also, as a man, I can admit that I was wrong for the things I did years ago. The bullying and childish antics ain't cool, and I apologize for that. You got a great thing going right now, and I want you to know you're inspiring me to do better for my brothers. I know there's a lot of smoke and fence going on right now, but all in all, you're a cool dude. Keep pushing and striving for more. And Kai also had to humble a whole news outlet for oh, spreading bro. false information and almost I ending the career this. of one of the AMP members. Back in July 2024, it was revealed thanks to some leaked DMs that one of Kai's former cameraman, Chris, was exposed to have been exchanging messages with a 17-year-old girl. Right after finding out about all of this, Kai addressed the situation. Saying Wait, that this, was the, this was in the U-Haul? I thought he was at at his house whenever he did this because wasn't he at his house whenever he said that him and complex are not doing anything anymore because they try to do like they try to pin it on chris next door instead of the cameraman chris confirmed everything with the girl and that they completely cut ties with the guy my cameraman chris and he would matter my streams matter my tech matter my apparently um it's not even apparent they get here clear as day in 2021 just got caught talking to a minor who was 17 Bro. years old. I still don't understand that, man. Like... Bro, you, you you have so many things going for you, and you throw it all away for for a, a minor in Minecraft, bro. Like, I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. Why? What is so appealing about a little girl, bro? I already hate kids enough. Oh, what a it's joke. Annoying when shit happened. And shit my fucking name every time, bro. During the same time, news website Complex wrote an article about it. However, they completely got their information wrong and said that the guy who had gotten exposed was Chris Next Door, one of AMP members. Yeah. The community was pissed at this, including Kai, who had to go off against them for spreading false allegations against AMP. Chris, yeah, it was, okay, which could so it was at his house if only during a marathon. Only seconds of research to get their facts straight. He also went on to say that he would cut ties with Complex yeah. and that every collaboration he had with the site would be put on hold yeah i had the nerve to put out a false article about one of the amp members and they took it down to and, do and they do apologized seconds of research hey, bro, but it doesn't matter just next door ain't do he's not part of any situations he ain't do he's it, it's the matter of like them not spending it, it for for being journalists they're not dedicating their time to actually learning about like the true nature of what happened rather than just sit here and try and you know do whatever will get the most clicks it, it's so stupid it's such a bad, uh, like, image for them to just get something like that wrong, especially that something this huge when it concerns Kai Sanat. Uh, it, it just like, bro, it probably didn't even take 30 seconds of research. Probably not even 30 seconds. He's one of the quietest. When you talk about Chris next door, he's literally minding his business. He don't do sh He has yet to even come on your platform. He has yet to even do a lot of sh he shouldn't. Lane, he like, shouldn't be going so on there. To do that is absolutely crazy. And I know we have a lot of shit we were supposed to do in the future complex. There's a lot of shit that y'all wanted me for. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that tie right there, bro. Good. Just because a dumbass who wrote an article that you guys had to approve. And him being my man's, bro, I'm not working with you. I'm not. I ain't doing shit for complex until further notice. It took all of this attention and direct contact from the part of Chris's attorney for Complex to finally yeah, they had a lawyer up for this. and edit the original article what a joke. to exclude any mention of Chris next door. Now, the biggest celebrity Kai has ever had to humble is Kanye West. Back in March 2024, Kai received a package from Kanye's brand with a bunch of clothes for him to try on. Everything seemed cool and Kai was excited about the new drip, but it wasn't until he went to try on the clothes that he realized everything was way too big for him and <laughs> <laughs> he began to clown around saying that they would probably fit Fana. After that, he mocked the shoe socks they sent him, and then he went on to beg for the Yeezy team to send him <laughs> stuff that actually fit him. What is this? Vulture sweatpants. Bro, we gotta make these. Yay! This not fitting me! Yay! Oh my god, this shit 
sending Phantom, bro. Bro, yeah, you supposed to send an extra small. Bro, you supposed to send a small dang yo, not an extra, extra large. Yo, please, anybody. I don't even think Yay sent me this directly. Anybody on the Yeezy team, just please send me a small. The clip went viral, and as a result, Kanye sent some DMs to Kai to tell him not to be joking like that with his clothing. Telling bro, him L, he was Kanye. controlled. The whole thing escalated to Kai being contacted by Kanye's manager, who asked Kai to apologize and leave things as is. So, uh, you know, I know that you guys are kind of bumping heads for Green's bumping. And uh, I wanted to reach out and see if there's a way that we could find a peaceful resolution and just get on the same page. Cause, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm basically just... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on listen. I'm not finished. Because as a people, I believe we're stronger, stronger together. Kanye spoke on the matter during an interview with Justin LaBoy. He said that Kai was just an industry plant. And oh my god, bro. Industry plants, man. I'm trying to bring up a conspiracy. Why didn't you just send in the right clothes, dude? Like, that's an L for Kanye. He was influencing his audience into thinking badly of him. You know, we, we out here stepping away from adidas like the car sent to my that's some industry plant he yeah, got yeah. he gonna be talking about it. my pants so, so he's an industry plant he's an of course he's the opposite plant. total and that exact genre is the most industry plant it's what? about like influence and mind control and then he gonna mention my daughter's name a week later it's like that don't mention my daughter's name and then you you dissing what's paying a two hundred thousand dollar a month child support wow that's the why why are you bringing up how much money you have to owe right it's irrelevant information you're talking about clothing that doesn't fit kai that's all he pretty much said right besides the the shoe socks those things those things are freaky bro that's some shit diddy would invent the billionaire mm. child support is different yeah but it's like don't mention this and then mention my daughter's name it's like it'd be that kind of shit where i'm like that don't make god happy Wow. <laughs> At the end of the day, it seemed that Kanye finally had some common sense and sent Kai right. some clothes that actually fit him. And if you're a fan of Kai Sinat, make sure you subscribe right now. I am a fan. But speaking of Kai, even his fans have gone out oh, of their way God. to humble entitled celebrities for trying to Not mess with these him. Jokers. This was the case with Blueface and his girlfriend, Krishan Rock. The two of them went to the AMP house to do a stream with Kai. Everything's Bro, she is so disrespectful. Like, why would you ever... Why would you ever invite this person to your house? Dude, she is so disrespectful. Oh my god. And Blueface is just fake, bro. Like, anyone could have seen that a mile away. Seemed chill at first, with Krishan and Kai hitting it off. However, things took a left turn when Krishan suddenly gave Kai's room a makeover. From there, the energy drastically changed, and the stream ended shortly after that. Fetchy. Or either this. This one work. Yeah, because this one little. Like, oh, holy. Wait, you put a hole in my wall. You rich. You can fix it. So disrespectful, man. Like, I hate. I hate these two, bro. I don't hate a lot of people. God, you just put a hole in my wall. What's that right there? That's a video here? The fans' reaction to the clip were filled with hate towards Krishan yeah. for not only doing that, but also for playing it off like it was not a big deal. Some fans even went Yo. out of their way to make fun of Krishan in some unique ways. Despite the hate, Krishan and Kai linked up again the next year when she appeared on his jail stream. Bro, who remembers who remembers the the Goomba? The Goomba oh, hold up, hold up. I need to find it. I need to find it. Krishan rock goomba <laughs> hey, that wasn't it uh, is this a
However, just two days later, she went on an interview with Jason Lee and revealed that Blueface didn't want anything to do with Kai because of how his fan base had treated him. He said, what are you doing? You busy? Question mark. I said, I went to sleep, blah, blah. Okay, I'm finna call you. I'm finishing up this stream. I said, with Kai? He said, hell nah. You know I don't f with that guy. Black no, Blueface. Kai reacted to it while he was still doing the jail stream and was heartbroken with the news. Blueface said he don't f Kai. He said, look, he said, what are you doing? You busy? Question mark. I said, I went to sleep, blah, blah. Okay, I'm finna call you. I'm finishing up this That's stream. He said he I said, with Kai? He said, hell nah. You know I don't, don't f like that him. guy. Yo! Dude! Blueface! He said, don't f This old, this after she left? No, they, they, this is right after. Yesterday, yesterday. Oh, he dissed yesterday. What the f? Why is he f me for? Now, Kai has <laughs> always been clear that his streams and his whole content is made for entertainment purposes yeah. only. But that doesn't mean he hasn't had to humble people who try to use his position to advertise for stuff. Even the country's vice president oh, with politics. Aiden's Trump stream, politicians realized the reach streamers had and how they could use them for their campaign. And Kai I think it's a good thing that people are starting to see like what kind of influence they have. Yeah, I think Kai's journey was a little rocky he learned the hard way which you know sucks but like sometimes that's just how it be you know and and i'm glad that i'm glad he's using his influence more for good than than what some people do uh i think i think kai is just like a genuine person like uh he he's always been extremely humble and whatnot about it like he's just a great guy man i got mad when he revealed Yo, much love that the secret service was trying to contact him to do a stream <laughs> with kamala harris then on top of that, I got the secret service calling me. Five I don't know what this crash shot's for. <laughs> I don't know goddamn about politics. I don't know nothing. I don't know. I don't know not a goddamn thing, man. What the? F am I supposed to talk about on stream about politics, bro? He went on by saying that he didn't have any intention on collabing with nothing that had to do with political campaigns. And that he didn't even know Same. anything about politics to be getting himself into that world. Same. What the is that going to talk about with politics, man? <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real. Yeah, guys, hey, not the person. Mark my words. I'm going to say it right now. If this some way, somehow, something was to go into where I do the stream of politics, I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm going to sit on my stream and say... Why did you guys call me? <laughs> I also had to humble Joe Budden for trying to go against younger streamers because Joe had his moment of fame Bro, back Joe. in 2003 when one of his songs pumped. Dude, Joe does not stay. He minds everyone else's business but his own. It's always button, bro. But Up got featured in the movie Too Fast, Too Furious. In more recent years, he's built a career as a critic who always talks about controversial topics. During an episode of his podcast, he went on to talk trash about the streaming scene, saying that nobody cared about what streaming. Bro, no one cares about politics. There's no world. Or, uh, for me, the hip-hop I'm coming from, there's no world where I, I, me and Aiden Ross need to talk about something. Yo! And no one cares about podcast anymore, bro. Not politics, podcast. Y'all little streaming niggas don't always run shit. Shut the fuck up. So Kai had to let Joe know that he was stuck yeah, in the let past him know. and he should let younger generations have their moment. He also went on to say yeah. that he could do way more in a day of streaming than Joe ever could in his whole career. True. <sighs> Joe Button career? Every single time somebody starts something, it don't even be me, it be them. True. They talk about me, so let's talk about them. This is what we have here is a case of old syndrome. My mm -hmm. Listen to me. Preach it. I'm a 22-year-old young adult. Young, who yeah. Who likes to sit in his room and naturally, like everybody else, react to music and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If I think. Spider-Man should have won Superhero of the Year, but you think Green Lantern should have won, and Green Lantern wins. But okay, it's your opinion. Stop talking about streaming, bro. Stop doing that, bro. Like we some no, I would buy you, my nigga. 
Do you understand that? <laughs> bro, like, I could put up like 20 clips of you doubting every 2016 freshman, bro. And look at them boys right now, bro. It is what it is, bro. Y'all ain't never knew what streaming was. Y'all don't know what streaming you. was. Keep it like that. Y'all don't know. Okay, what a statement. Streaming, but because y'all don't understand it or y'all don't get the chance to understand it. And it's it's completely fine. Every time when some go on, it's somebody mentioning me. I'm I'll I be minding my business. And speaking of streamers humbling entitled people, no. one streamer got slapped in his house for trying to play tough, Jack Doherty, and another streamer Doherty, got humbled in the coldest Sneeko. way possible. So click this video to see what happened when streamers humbled entitled streamers. Yo, W video, man. Oh, I liked it. I forgot that we were like watching it and and I had to do something else. But uh, W video, man. W video. It, it is correct, man. It is correct. Unreal. Yeah, yeah, Kai is a genuine guy. People take advantage. But that's today's day and age, I guess. Uh, Yeah, that's all I got for you. <laughs> See ya.